One week later, Flash woke up very sick. Edward and James was the only two awake. What's wrong, Flash? Are you okay? No, James, I'm not okay. I'm sick. I'm sick, James. Nobody really knew Flash was a prototype. He had a small firebox. He was a famous grizzly, A3. But, I didn't know. Somebody knew very well stole the pictures and design, design of Flash. The person that that stole the designs was Patrick Boomer. Flash kept quiet about this and never told anyone about this. Edward knew something was up with Flash. Flash was a quiet fellow, but he was a hard worker. Edward spoke up. Flash, are you sure you're okay? Yes, Edward, I'm just, I'm fine, but I'm a little sick. Can you, can you take me to the works? Of course. If it make you feel better, better. Thanks, Edward. Thank you. Hope gets, hope you get soon. Better soon, Flash. Thanks, James. I really appreciated that. But Edward, please take me away. On it. <sighs> Why did it have to happen today? It's just one of the turntable. Yeah. And took Flash away. Henry just woke up from his from his sleep and puffed out of the shed. He'll look on the expression of Edward and James' face, looking very worried. Um, hello, you three. May I ask, why so glum? It's a beautiful day. Well, said Edward, Flash came up, woke up very sick today, and I'm and we're worried about him. And he kept quiet a long. He kept quiet for a while and never speak to us that much. He's a kind fellow, but we need to know what's going on with his firebox or his boiler. He sometimes he always he's often having boiler sludge and always has his safety belt burst. Wow, that is a problem. I know, but. Hopefully he gets better soon, said Edward, said Edward. I guess so, but I promise you, he'll feel better. Edward got, gave the big green engine a gentle smile. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. You're the time, old friend. You must, you must be late for your next train. Oh shoot! You're right, Henry. Thanks for telling me. I must have been late for my next train. Carry along now, Edwards. You mustn't be late for your passenger train. Thanks you for reminding me, Henry. Come, come on, driver. We have to go. On it, old boy. Edward quickly raced out of the sheds and onto the turntable. Twenty minutes later. Max was shunting Edward's train to the to, to the platform. The coach is saying, "Oh, he's really gentle. He's gentle." Thank you, ladies," said Max. And he stopped at the platform. Max uncoupled the train and puffed away. 
Edward raced down the line, making up for lost time. Edward was a was an old engine, and he was kind of slow, but that doesn't stop the old iron making up for lost time. <sighs> almost there, almost there. Edward panted. He seized the coaches. If Edward switched the, switched the line to get on the train. He sees Max. Edward was still tired, but smart at Max. <gasps> he was still tired and panting. Oh dear. Hello, Max. Is my train ready? Yep, Edward. I shunted your train to this platform, platform over there. It is ready. Oh, thank you, Max. Thank you. Anytime, Edward. Anytime. Edward back down to the coaches and couple up to the coaches. Ooh, the coaches saying, "He's gentle. He's gentle." As the guard blew his whistle, <laughs> Edward set off. See you around, Max. Said Edward. You too, Edward. Edward was puffing smoothly down the line. What a nice fellow, said Edward. He should be a new station pilot. I'm wasting to the controller, but I don't know if he would accept that. He always says tender engines don't shunt, but Edward doesn't mind. He likes shunting. Shunting was fun to Edward, but unlike James and Gordon and Henry, they went on strike before and told the fat controller tender engines don't shunt. The fat controller kind of agreed to Gordon. And it was very dangerous. When tender with big tender engines go at fast speed, they derail on a point set of points. As Edward arrived to the to Nefra station, dropping off the coaches so Max can take him to the yards. <sighs> Edward looked at Max and smiled. Thank you, Max, for shunting my train and take. And shunting him. You did a good job, Max. 
Oh, thank you, Edwards. I'll try my hardest.